Thanks so much for joining us here in the Fox 4 Weather Center. Before we dive into our weather here across southwest Florida, let's quickly break down the tropics. In case you missed it, Tropical Storm Alberto officially made landfall and still is producing widespread scattered showers across parts of the southern half of Texas. So yes, it is officially inland. It is out of the picture at this point, just the remnants of Alberto producing some areas of heavy rainfall there for the mountainous terrain of Mexico. So that system has now wrapped up and we turn to two other areas of potential development in that same area where, where Alberto formed. We could potentially see another wave of energy develop this weekend. Now up to a 50% chance of further development here in the Bay of Campeche. As this wave works its way across the Yucatan and into the southwestern Gulf of Mexico. Not a concern of ours, but still obviously a hot spot and something we will be watching. Also this other wave, which is just to the north and east of the Bahamas. This wave now holds a moderate chance of becoming something more here in the next couple of days as it works its way off toward northeastern Florida as well as the coast of Georgia. So actually it does look like we could be on the drier side of this system. That's why those rain chances tomorrow will generally be scattered and then we'll really see things ramp up on Saturday and Sunday just because of other moisture that's going to be working its way in. Let's take a live look outside right now. Check on things here across southwest Florida. See those cumulus clouds? See how they're not growing very high upward? So it's pretty stable. We have a lot of dry air in the mid to upper levels of the atmosphere. That's another reason why you're seeing that beautiful robin's egg blue. That's everything. That's how you know we're not very saturated in the mid to upper levels. That's why the storms that we do have out there are generally just rain showers producing some light to moderate rain. We're not seeing necessarily heavy impactful rain. We're certainly not seeing anything strong or severe and it's because of that greater stability that we have upstairs. Currently we have one little shower right over Punta Gorda. Another one heading toward the Cape Hayes Peninsula and then right here over a sterile right along US 41 seeing some of that more moderate to heavier rainfall now heading toward the southern side of a sterile island as well as Lover's Key but at this point again not seeing any lightning strikes from that particular cumulus cloud still a couple of showers right along I-75 toward Alligator Alley but overall things are much quieter this evening so mostly sunny skies are expected at 8 o'clock sun goes down giving way to mostly clear skies overnight temperature is cooling from the lower 80s into the upper 70s. Heading through the rest of this evening, showers few and far between. Best chance for those isolated showers here the next few hours, staying toward our south. Then as we look ahead to tomorrow, starting things off, lots of sunshine. It's going to be a great day to get outside and play. Those winds, by the way, becoming more southeasterly. And then heading into the afternoon, 3 o'clock. Best chance for those showers and storms initially at 3, generally in Collier County, then kind of working their way northward. But look at that. For the most part, very isolated. So we'll start to pull back those rain chances with some of that drier air kind of wrapping in behind that little tropical disturbance. So at this point, it looks like showers for your Friday evening plans. Few and far between. Great news for anybody who wants to get outside and play. Mostly sunny for the morning, 76. Scattered afternoon and evening storms, 93. You factor in that humidity. It's going to be feeling more like the triple digits. So please mind that heat, mind that humidity. Better opportunity for showers and storms moving in over the weekend, especially for your Sunday.